Uh, the, the last project I was going to uh, describe is that we're, we're in the process right now of creating the, uh, the bid for the 2016 Olympics uh, for the city of Chicago. And uh, one of the ambitions of the mayor is to make uh, this the, the greenest Olympics. And uh, one of the opportunities of the uh, Chicago Olympics is, to, is, is Lake Michigan and using uh, the lake water and so on uh, to help uh, with the sustainability story. Uh, this is the overall plan showing the venues and w one of the advantages of Chicago is that we can create a very compact Olympics so there's there's going to be less energy used moving athletes from the Olympic Village out to the venues that they that they're going to utilize and we can take advantage of open spaces along the lake and some existing facilities uh, that are an easy striking distance from the Olympic Village which is right in here uh, and we, we think it's a, we think it's a great plan right now we're competing with LA uh, and we just submitted the book actually last week. Uh, these are a series of plans and the book is filled with these plans. They're mostly diagrams that have to do with uh, logistics and so on and not so much to do with architecture. Uh, but you can see here the, the Olympic Village. It's adjacent to Soldier Field which is right up here. This is McCormick Place. There are going to be a number of events held in McCormick Place. They're actually the sailing venue is here. The rowing venue is just north of it. <clears throat> so, you, so many of the athletes will be able to walk to their venue uh, they'll also be able to walk to the lake, which is a big attraction, of course, in Chicago. Uh, all of the, the way this village is, is set up, there's, uh, they sit on top of the marshalling yards for McCormick Place, so all of this is essentially a truck, truck parking garage that will sit underneath this village once it's, uh, once it's in use, uh, once it's turned over essentially to developers after the Olympics and, and, and used for uh, private apartments, uh, but we're able to, to insert some of the venues into the underside of this deck uh, uh, for temporary, uh, temporary use during the Olympics. There also are temporary pavilions that are set adjacent to the lake. Uh, you can see here the, uh, the venues that are also adjacent to the village. The village is here, you got sailing and so on, wor working all the way up the lake. This is uh, this Grand Park here. So it's, it's right adjacent to downtown. Uh, this, the stadium is just off the page. Yeah, it's just, it's just off the page down here. Uh, this is a view of, of where, the, where the village sits. Uh, we're also working, I mean, one of, the, one of the, the big challenges, of course, is, is how you drive your mechanical plant. How can you make that work in an efficient way? Uh, we think we can use the lake water intake uh, to help drive the mechanical plant. Uh, we're also incorporating green roofs as is the standard for most uh, new Chicago buildings. And uh, we are working uh, on the specification for the buildings to be sure that we're going to be, uh, we're going to meet uh, Leeds Gold uh, for this development, which of course is a challenge for the developers who are ultimately going to build this. And this is a view of it at night.